Good morning everyone, happy bank holiday. I am at Blair Drummond Safari and Adventure Park. Just checking out, see what's going on. It's pretty quiet just now, it is about half past 10 in the morning. But just going with the flow just now, see what there is. And hope you enjoy. So while I was paying for your tickets uh, and checking in, they've given me some information, a few leaflets, the information of the drive through reserves uh, sticker, could be for your car, anything else, just some safety arrangements for your visit and a map as well. Very handy stuff, just to get your hair down things. Tells you on the map what time they close at today and the last entry into the reserves today. I am actually a member. I paid for the membership around, must have been July last year maybe. And I think off the top of my head it was £45 give or take for the year. This is the first time I've managed to use it, so I went online, booked today's date in advance, a week in advance, and turned up. They email you out your ticket, you scan your ticket with the QR code at the check-in the ticket, the drive-through ticket booth, and that was it. Easy as that. For the map. So... This is where we came in, just at the ticket office, drove right round, here, there's a car park to the right here, however I drove right round and I have parked just where the toilets are, just to make it a bit central, so I can have a look at a few things centrally, but I can always just come back to this area. But it shows you everything that's got going just now, You've got the Birds of Prey uh, display with the times on it. The dinosaur area, indoor picnic area, path to the Chimp Island, giraffe house, the lion platform, the playground, the rhino house, the gift shop which is central, this is the lemur land, the pedal boats, the gift shop, more toilets in this area down here. And this is the, the drive through reserve, the safari area. You can drive through and see all the animals. You can then exit and leave the park, which I will probably do. I will do everything I can today. And then I will go through the reserve and then I will exit and go home. Or you can not go through the reserve and you can exit out the park and that's you out the park. This is the the boat area, I'm not sure if this is opened, usually it's got on some boats similar to Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom, you have the Jungle Cruise, not as exciting as the Jungle Cruise, must admit, but it reminds me of it. So you go on the boats and it takes you around to have a look at the Chimp Island and then go all the way around again and get off. The map also shows you some of the food areas, so you've got Victoria's wood fried pizzas, you've got some donuts, smoothie bar, coffee, cake and ice cream, just at the, the boat area, and you've got the grill and barbecue, the safari shack, which is central, just next to the car park and the gift shop area. You've got barbecue areas, so you can turn up with your own barbecue and have a barbecue indoor picnic area, so there's a tent area with the indoor picnic area. So, yep, good idea getting a map out so you can see where we're all going. It gives you some information, especially with COVID times, face masks, gives you times of shows that are ongoing and how many animals, we've got 300 animals
This leaflet shows you what you can see, or what you expect to find and see on the drive through reserve, the drive through safari. All these different animals. You can skip the monkey area when you're halfway through the reserve. There's an area where you can go straight on and miss the monkey area or you can take a left. So just keep an eye on that on the signs. And I'm just walking into this whole dinosaur section. It's a great idea, be a little park uh, for any age, to be honest, but uh, so I'm loving it. But any kids that are into uh, dinosaurs, just get Jesus, never seen that one. I'm not even going to pronounce it. It's a piece island, Tyrannodon. So, yeah, great one way system. I think it actually helps get everyone round safely but everyone gets a chance to have a look all different dinosaurs all different facts don't think that's a good idea having dinosaurs next to fresh pizza mm. sure dinosaurs like pizza don't they? Yeah. Who doesn't like pizza? That's the, that's the question. That's the entrance to the dinosaur park. Good old Jurassic Park gates. Oh, the lions and tigers are right here having their breakfast. Yeah, I'm a break.
There's a mono over there. It's going to be much of a much of play part for them. They sit and play and sleep. This is the African lion. There's all the information about them all. So yeah, I recommend definitely coming in the morning where the park is quiet and it's feeding time, breakfast time. I mean, it's a great one way system on these platforms. Again, just like forming a queue and everyone just takes their time, but I like this idea. Hope to keep this. I think there's anything over there. Oh, it's the giraffes. The giraffes are over there getting their breakfast, look. We have to go over there and see them. Well, we'll have to go and see them. Got these little great viewing areas here for the zebras. I think that's a little brush for them to scratch their backs. Also, out for their breakfast this morning. There's a few of them there. Making me hungry. Watch them. Get a little photo up. Leading us to the rhinos, I think it is. That's way over there. Don't know why an ostrich scares me. It's a big bird, but it's because they're so fast and I don't know, it's just anybody else get that? Let's go see if the giraffes are still out getting their breakfast. That's pretty cool. Not many places you can get that close to a giraffe, so if you love giraffes, definitely come here. Let's see if we can see some elephants.
There you go. It's the size of the... I feel like I want to know his or her's name. Can you give me a wave? Going back in. Big play, playground. And then you know she is outside. Is that a toy or is that for food? She's playing with his little playing with its drum. The drunken drum band. I think it's food. Ah, look at that. It's trunk in the trunk. <laughs> trunk in the barrel. It's a new hip hop group, trunk in the barrel. A little wind chimes up there as well. See in there. So hopefully we can get on to the boat trip today. The boat trip reminds me of the Jungle Cruise in Walt Disney World. One of my favourite rides in Walt Disney World. So hopefully we can get on that today. I'm not sure if it's running or not. I'm going to go have a look. See if it is, and if it is, try and get on it. Just in case you're wondering how much water an elephant drinks, so an elephant can pull up to 11 litres of water into the trunk when drinking or bathing. Wow. Little diggers you can play on, £2. A shot, you can dig some sand. Lots of seating, lots of outdoor seating. Bar that's closed just now, but I'm sure it'll be open when everything's up and running again. And the boat safari is closed. You see how it reminds me of the Walt Disney World safari. So you get on the boat there. And you go and see, like, Chimp Island. See the water behind? It goes all the way down around there in the water. So, yeah, disappointing that it's closed, but we'll get back when it's open and go on it just so you can see what I mean and how it's very similar to the Jungle Cruise in Walt Disney World. I think I can go this way. Little gift shop. Toilets. And the gift shop is actually open but I'm not going to go in there just now. I am going to... Oh look! Flying fox. Across the water. 
and you can rent a little splash cat, cats they're calling it but we're going to Lemurland so that's the better tale I'm talking about getting the boats going down the water to Jump Island it's a shame because you can open up inside for some things you could just space folk out and go on the boats but it must be their thing just now and hopefully open up sooner. I am in Lima land or Lima. Is that how you say Lima? Lima? Lima. And we've created this little open land you can walk through and to be honest I think Lima's just roam around Hopefully not jump on top of my head, but surely I can't just be running around. What do you think? Am I going to get jumped on? My hay fever's jumping on me. Okay. There we go. There's one there. There's. See them? And they're literally there. It's just a fence. An open fence. There's another one there. Their home, I'm guessing that's their home. Oh. Let's take a walk around and see if we can see them closer or see some more. Look at these wee guys. So it's the ring tailed lemur that's here. There's another little playground area they've got. I think they're all away for some breakfast first. Tortoise food guard. Don't see any tortoises be hiding. I'm gonna say goats. Yeah. Can you tell that my animal skills are poor? I get called out now that it's probably wrong, but come on. Must be a goat. Size of snail, shizo. If you can see that. Wow. And a leopard gecko. He's sleeping there, see him? His tail sticking out. And then a cockroach. That's not a cockroach. No, cockroaches. Can't see it now because of the glare on the screen and the glass. Is that a grasshopper or is that a stick thing? I'm going to say stick thing.
Here's a tortoise here, look at the size of it. You can see that because of the glass, but... Wow. It's that African spurred tortoise. wonder how old they are. I've got to be honest, this is great. I mean, it's absolutely empty. There's no one in here, apart from myself, look. Don't know why it's so quiet. Maybe because it is early in the morning. Maybe people haven't uh, chosen to come here, but... Because, obviously, some things are closed, but it's a good day out. A lot of animals are out just now. I'm enjoying it. Nice and relaxing. Just gutted that the boat ride isn't on. I'm sure they could maybe manage something unless they're doing work on the ride itself to make it uh, better. But I don't know. I think they could have opened it, spread out a little bit. It's not that busy just now. It might get busy because it is a popular place. That would bring more people in, maybe. Maybe that's why it's at capacity. I don't know. Uh, it's a strange one. Hopefully, well, things are starting to open up again. And I'm right next to these guys. Oh, they're loving it. They're getting their breakfast, relaxing in their wee area. And I'm going back to see the, because it's a one-way system, I passed the opposite end of the lemurs. I'm going back into the lemurs, I believe. So, let's see if any of them jump on top of me. So I've walked all the way back around again. I have found them, they're on top of a roof, jumping around. Is there any more in here? Is it we played in? For them. There's one in there, on the opposite end just now. Look, he's trying to get out. Oh, did you see him there? Oh, what's... I'm not going to say rabbit. What's that? That pigeon? Why is it a pigeon? See it? Pigeon just casually strolling about, look. Stealing the food. Bad pigeon. That's me finished at the Lima's. Just going round the runway system. To get back out. That's the zip line. Don't know if I would trust that enough, but I'd probably give it a go. But no, it looks old. People out in their little boats. Like Pedalos. Is is it wire? If you're brave enough. Goes across the water. Oh look guys, a zebra crossing. <laughs> yeah. 
going to the chimp viewing platform. So, well, if you remember, that's the the boat section down the far end there, and the boat comes along, usually goes along this area here. There's no backside of water. For any of you Walt Disney World fans or visitors that know that joke, but it's walking down here now because it says you can view the the chimps, which you usually view on the boat on its wee island. Don't know where that is up there, a big castle looking house, but might give that a check out as well. Well yeah, nice little walk here. What I would say is if you're coming here with younger kids, just watch that if you're walking on this path, how close you are to the water. That's not a dig at the health and safety of the park, but it's it's there, so a kid might just run in or just go off track but you see the signs they've put up, deep water signs. So I am here, I think, at the chimp viewing area, the chimpanzee. viewing area I think that's their food stored away, nice and dry some water to water things <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows this is here because there's nobody walking behind me nobody in front of me there's no one here Almost feels like I'm not supposed to be here, but it's very well signposted. So you don't want to check this. If you don't want to miss this out, some information of the grooming, or well, the social structure, the grooming, and the communication of the chimpanzee. There's a nice wee area here. Oh, Planet of the Apes. Don't get me for copyright for saying that. The sign says it, so I can see it. We've got gorillas, chimpanzees, bonobos, humans, us, the gibbon, gibbons, and the orangutans. A nice wee viewing area here, a bench. I think the sleeping side there come out that ramp looking cage thing. Don't think they are outside just now. But you can see the, the other side of the cage looking ramp. They come out, the boat goes past the back end of that. You get to view the chimps, chimpanzees, and then go around. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it's too early in the morning for them. Uh, so I maybe come back later on. Oh well. So although it's disappointing that I can't see the chimpanzees, maybe I'll give it another go later on. I 
Again, no rush to go away, to go home or do anything else today. I'm here now, so make the most of today. So yeah, we'll see how I feel later on. Give it a go back, see if we can see them. I think it's a great idea, a different idea of doing the platform. I don't think, it, well, I've not been here for a long time, so I'm not sure if that's always been there. If you're not taking the boat, I might have just might have not known that, because usually I just took the boat. But give it a go, have a walk round, see some chimpanzees. Well, I'm going to head back round again, start from the lions, tigers again. Oh no, just, no, just the lions there, not tigers. I haven't seen any tigers, but let's go see if we can see anything different. Looks like we've all finished our breakfast. All just pretty much relaxing now, getting on with the rest of the day. They're pretty huge. Can't tell from here, but yeah, I wasn't sure that. This is the other viewing area for the giraffes. Just the opposite of the viewing area. Well, the same viewing area as the lions, but just look the other side and you'll see the giraffes. Be their own. That was at the far end. And the other area you can see there. Where the other people are. It's good to double check. They haven't left that area in the morning and they roam around to this one. So the rhinos are still outside and not in their wee den. There's some information of them. And that's just crazy to think of that they could be extinct by 2026. So it is around 12 o'clock now. I've been here since around 10 o'clock, two hours here. I've seen quite a lot in those two hours, a lot you can do. Uh, there's, there's a lot more for kids with the, the swing park and the play area. I'm not going to record that for obvious purposes, but there's a lot there for kids. I believe the sea lion area is also shut. So once that is opened, hopefully I'll get back, have a look at that. Some time has passed now since I last visited the chimpanzee viewing area. So I'm just going back over there just now to see if we can see them. If we can't, that'll be the last time I give it a go because it is a bit of a walk there and back. So I can see from here. That they are not out or possibly the other side of the island, which we can't see because that's the area you see from the boats that are not operating just now. 
So, maybe another time I'll give it a go. But for now, I'm going to head back down this path. See more of the pigs. Oh, two pigs. There's another one there, sleeping. Like me on a Sunday morning. For the horses. I'm going to say sheep, but I could be wrong. Nah, it looks like a sheep, a form of sheep, a little lamb in the middle. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. Little llamas. There's quite a lot of them actually. Hey, yeah. Like, Poison. Llama, 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 llama. Having a staring contest. Don't blink. Show me its teeth now. Ah, oh, how does it yours? Yeah. I win, I win. Come here. 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 Come here.
Got some turkeys here. Come on, make the noise for the content. Come on, come on. No. I will do it as soon as I leave. There's a lot of chickens and hens look, hiding. See the big one there. Yeah, just hiding, can't pass because of the rope here. That's me up the opposite end. There's the other pig. Oh, two of them here. That's the one that was at the far end when I came in. And now they're both together. Look at the size of them. Um, huge. Oh, that one's snoring. He's snoring, buddy. Snoring like a pig. That's where they get it from. So I'm back in the car. I am going to do the drive-through safari. The rain has stopped. And you can see a whole different type of experience. Through this safari. Look how close we can get to. Are they antelopes or? And they are amazing. Look at the horns. This rhino is eyeing me up. Look at the size of that rhino. You see him? He sees me. <laughs> There's three of them total. There's another two over there. Another one running away from me, see? He knows better. Running away from me. The other one's following him. Or her. Gonna say deer or the horns. One's got horns, one's got no horns. Check out these guys, right next to the car. Look at the size of the horns. Amazing. Just eating away. Wow. Not many places you're going to get so close to these type of animals. You pay a lot of money to go and see animals this close in other places uh, abroad on safaris. 
fantastic experience to see these animals up close. Watching the guys. He's looking round. They're all napping. The big cats do. You see the platform there? When we were on. Looks like they're all tired. From all the food they've been eating, that we've seen them eating. Lions crossing. We are in monkey territory. Little rascals that they can be. We've got some of the keepers out looking after them, feeding them. There's two of them to the right hand side of me. One on its own to the left of me. There's actually quite a lot of them. See that this wee guy chilling up there. See him? See him out there? The window. Must be where they sleep in. There's one crossing the road. Why did the monkey cross the road? See them all? Two at the bottom of the tree there. One at the top. Well, on the first large branch on the tree. And one right in front of me. Sitting eating his food. What's he having? Is that an apple? Another one on the road. Not a whole load of them just sitting on the bank in there. See ya. That looks amazing. Forget about the monkeys. I want to go in there. Oh, one's sneaking up behind me, or beside me. That's a, good, a rabbit. Is that a rabbit? A rabbit and a monkey. The new film coming from Disney. Rabbit and the monkey. Oh, 
wonder if they source the trees to suit the animals, does that make sense? So, certain animals will like certain trees. No? Surely they must know if it's going to be poisonous or not poisonous, maybe something like that. I'm sure they look into that, but it's a fact that you can all go away and check for us because I do not have the answer. They all seem to be sitting in the shade. Must be a warm day for them. I don't think they're used to this amazing sunny Scottish weather that we get every day. I hardly see this guy here, or girl, sitting in the, the shade. Is that it? I'm going to say, is it a camel? Camels? The two camels? Can't see because of the. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm going to say camels. See them? Just. Has any of them got a red nose? Mm, nope. That's Prancer. That's the life. Right there. Just sitting about in mud all day. No worries, no problems. Yep, taking it all in. Next time I come back, when I do come back, I want to find out what that massive house is over there. And have a look at the other attractions, the new attractions that's opening up. That looks like it for the safari guys, thank you for watching, hope you liked Blair Drummond Safari Park, it's a great day out for all the family and all ages, so give it a go guys, come and visit Blair Drummond Safari Park, can't recommend it enough, thank you for watching and I hope to see you all soon.